What is up YouTube thrift school over here outside the thrift store. We're gonna head inside see what we can find to buy and sell on eBay and Amazon. Let's go All right, so everything is 50% off except blue tags and I see a lot of blue tags But there's also lots of white so who knows? 50% off is always great. So we know any color so like this fishing game right here is only two dollars Star Wars only 250 so that's not bad Monopoly so there might be a couple of hidden games in here. Probably not. It looks pretty picked over. You never know though with the sales. You could find something pretty good in here. So far not finding anything at all. Just dance, just dance, Diablo. Yeah, it does not look... No winners in there today. Oh, we got a few games over here. We got Tomb Raider Anniversary for five bucks. I don't know if that's good. I don't think so. Some two pets. DDR Max, yeah. Lots of PS2 games, just nothing great. SSX3 is a great game. For four bucks, for two dollars, it might be worth it actually. And it feels complete, yeah. So it has the manual, which is good. They keep the discs up front so nobody steals them. So we'll definitely throw that in the cart. I was just talking about this in my last video. These cake pans right here, I sell them all the time. We might have hit a little mini gold mine here. They're a buck each. Here's a Mickey head. I've sold this a bunch of times in the past. I know it's good. We have Spider-Man for a dollar. That should be good. We got Santa back there. What else is back here? Uh, Batman for a dollar. I think we're just gonna snag them without even... Oh, these are taped together. Some cars and a guitar for two dollars. Probably not great. Winnie the Pooh. Oh, he's taped together. Got a couple different things for a dollar ninety-nine. Yeah, this this might be pretty good. We're gonna do a little bit of scanning here, and oh, there's oh, I've sold that dinosaur before for thirty bucks, so that's gonna be good. Definitely some money right here. Pretty stoked about this. Let's fill up the cart. All right, we grabbed a few pans. Uh, some of them were just too dirty to grab, so we had to leave them. But we're gonna go check out the toys right now. All right, I love looking at the baggies real quick. I like to find the ones that have a whole bunch of stuff in one. So they're usually pretty cheap. Yeah, two ninety nine. That's a good price. But I'm not seeing anything great in this one. You never know though. What do we got here? Little pencil topper maybe bears. Not gonna be great. Got some cars. Nothing too old in here. We'll leave those. Here's a cool little dog mask. I don't know. Speaking of Halloween costumes and dogs, I'll pop up here on the screen. I sold two dog costumes on Amazon very recently and one of them sold for like 50 bucks. Crazy, crazy score. Picked it up for a couple bucks at a thrift store in Iowa, I think. All right, taking a look at the toys up top here. There's one that I sell pretty frequently. This one I sell pretty frequently. It's pretty dirty though. It looks like that might all be mold on the front here, which it is. Dang. I sold this before. I'll pop the price up here so you guys can see, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get that off the board. Even if it's really clean in there, I think that box condition just ruins it, so I'm going to leave this behind. Another thing I pick up all the time are these Operation Star Wars games. Again though, the box condition is really, really rough here. It looks like it's been water damaged and uh, the tape that's on here isn't doing it any favors. It also might be a little moldy down in the bottom. Yeah, so I'll just leave it behind, but I'll pop the price up so you guys can see. These do go for decent money, so I always try and keep an eye out. All right, so I'm striking out on the games just because of the conditions, but I am finding some stuff here. One issue I have here whenever I'm trying to film is the music is super loud. So I can only record during certain times. Uh, not seeing anything up here. If you guys are seeing anything, definitely let me know down below in the comments. Maybe topple? It feels like it's empty, so we'll leave that. There's obviously missing a lot of pieces in there. Uh, I'm just gonna have to keep looking around and see if I find anything. Oh, we have a couple sealed games here. Uh, it looks like yeah, they might be newly put out. We have a Beetlejuice game. Halloween's coming up, so this might be good. It's only six dollars. Yeah, let's let's look these up. All right, so I pulled one game out. First game I pulled out this Family Feud, brand new sealed. It's six dollars. Take a look at this price right here. Twenty-eight bucks. I'll make twelve dollars profit. It's eighteen, but minus my six, so I'll make twelve bucks. I like that. It's going in the cart. Easy money. Hopefully a few more of these are good. 
All right, we found a 2020 Battle for the White House chess set, and I cannot find a barcode on it. Uh, it might be underneath that sticker. So it's only $4. It's brand new with a sticker, but the same people that are running this year we're running in 2020, so you still have Biden and Trump, so it might uh, still bring some decent money because there's still relevancy to this. Uh, oh, look at that. Empty podiums to play now. Final nominee piece is available. That's funny. So I'm going to try and look this up. It might be worth some money. All right, so I was able to type it in, and here it is brand new on Amazon. Take a look at this. 72 bucks gonna make some great money gonna profit about 50 bucks on it so definitely coming in the cart that is a big score right there let's try to find some more of those none of these other seal games were worth it this Beetlejuice was kind of worth it again it's six dollars I'm gonna make five dollars after fees I don't know if I feel like doing that it's brand new so it's not that big of a deal but just not enough profit in it I think I'm gonna leave it and just try to find some higher value things I might come back and grab it though who knows all right, so we're on the other side of the board games, and this place is loud. There's a kid playing a flute or something. I don't know. A piccolo? Is it a piccolo? I don't know. But this Elephant right here for $1.99. Keep an eye out for these Elephant games. I don't know why, but they're worth a lot of money. Here it is. The rank is a little bit high, but Christmas is coming, so it'll sell. 59 bucks is the cheapest listing, so definitely a score. All right, this Leap Reader right here for $3.99, definite score. Take a look at that price right there. Quick seller, brand new sealed. Love to find things like this in the cart it goes. Another great score, these catchphrase games can go for great money. The ones, I think this might be discontinued, but these older ones are always great. Sold them all the time, it's half off, so it's only $3. It's used, you could tell it's put in there upside down but that's okay. The used, oh no, my phone. All right, it's alive. Man, if I had cracked my phone there, I would've been really upset. Um, the used price, still selling for 45 bucks. Merchants are coming at 21, so I bet you about 30 bucks. Still not bad for a $3 buy cost. Dang, this is kind of cool. It's a Minecraft game. We're asking 15 bucks on it though, which kind of sucks. It is selling for 40 so I'm trying to see how much I'd make. I'd make $10 on it, spend 15, make 10. Ugh, I hate doing that, but 10 bucks is 10 bucks and this will ship really easily, it's brand new, so don't want to spend 15, but I will. And I'm looking up this Ticket to Ride New York game right here. Uh, I don't see these very often, so they're always nice to find. I think I'm restricted in this, I'm not sure though. Yeah, I am. So I'm not gonna get it. It's only 99 cents. You, brand new, it sells for 16, so it probably sells for less than that on eBay. And with shipping costs, it's probably not worth it. I always try to request approval and no, never lets me, so we'll leave this. All right, here we go. We found a brand new Scrabble Slam game. Scan this one and what do they want? $2.99 and it's selling online for 18, so I'll make eight minus my three. So it's worth it, was that five bucks? I'll take the five bucks, why not? In the cart it goes. All right, so the cart is pretty full already. I love that, but I'm done looking at toys. I'm not finding much else when it comes to the toys. So I think we're gonna go check out electronics. It looks like they got a whole bunch today. So hopefully we find some good stuff. All right, I'm closer to the electronics now and they got a whole bunch of PlayStation 2 Slims for 50 bucks each with no cords or controller. So they're half off at 25 and even with no cords and controller, Still wouldn't grab those. You have no way of testing them. They also offer no returns here. At least that comes with Grand Theft Auto. But that is a bad deal. This one's not half off. Man, and they're in dirty rough shape. Insane price. Here's a fat PS2. Charge 60 for that one. Holy cow, even more? Pretty sure these are worth more than the fat, but that's wild. Not seeing anything else in this little corner. You never know. Here's an Xbox One. You don't always see next-gen consoles at thrift stores. There's no price on it though, so we'll leave that behind. Might be a price on the bottom. Nope, no price on it at all. So it's just sitting there. We have a Wii $20. It's really bad shape. 
That's why I don't really find too many consoles at these places. Here's some original Xbox 360s for $40 each. No cords, no controller, nothing like that. I, I don't know how they have so many consoles here without the cords and controllers. Unless they hold them up front, I don't think so. But pretty much every single console does not have cords and controllers. That Maybe they do keep them up front. That's crazy. Because why would every single one not have the cords? So last time I was here, I found a whole bunch of sealed uh, webcams and stuff up here that were worth it. And... I just noticed this. I'm like, oh, what? I don't know what this is. $50, though. I noticed a lot of randomly priced $50 items here today, so there must be a pricer in the back just $50 in it up. I don't know. But then I flipped it over and I saw a TJ Maxx. It was $19.99, so definitely not going to be worth it. I don't even think it's new. Uh, it might be new. It might be. I don't know, though. Still, that's crazy. That can go right back up there. I don't know what's up with all these $50 prices. What is that? That one's 20. Some of these Brookstone massagers can be okay. I guess I'll look into it. It's really heavy. Uh, yeah, might as well scan it in and see if, well, see if it's worth anything. I remember when I first got into taking pictures when I was younger, I had a Canon Rebel T2i and I wanted the D series so bad. This is a 40D and they're asking, of course, 50 bucks. Um, I did look it up. And here it is. Uh, it even has the battery charger, which is great because on the listing it shows that. And it's selling on Amazon for 87 bucks. So you'd make 71, but I'm not gonna spend 50 to make 20 and I don't even know if it works fully, which is kind of a shame, but uh, it is cool. It might not even have the battery with it. I think it just has the charger and the camera. If it was like 10, 15 bucks, I'd definitely take the gamble. It's a shame how expensive it is gotta stay behind. I also saw this Nutribullet. They sell for about a hundred bucks, but they're asking 50. So gotta leave it. I still have decent luck with these Sony alarm clocks right here. Two bucks isn't a bad price, but the price has come down on them. I think they only sell for about 20 at the moment. And after fees and shipping on them, you only make about $10. And for a $2 buy cost, it, it's not bad. You'd make eight bucks, but you gotta bubble wrap it all up. Uh, I might grab it two bucks. I'll stick it in the cart for now It's really not that hard to ship and there is some easy money there Now on the other hand this connect if this was two bucks I'd probably grab it but for ten and it does look a little rough. I will leave that behind I've been looking for one of these to cut paper for a while, but this is like a electronic one I don't know if it works. We'll leave it I just noticed they put out all these records right here, and the first one I see is this Top Gun motion picture soundtrack. It's three bucks. It actually had a barcode on the back, so I was able to scan it in. And here it is. Take a look at that brand new price. Almost 50 bucks. Used selling for 15, which is not bad. I'd only make two bucks on it, but there are no FBA sellers. So you could probably sell it for 20, actually. And instead of making just two dollars, I'd make an extra probably five, six, seven dollars. It's not bad. I think I'll snag that, why not? I haven't sold records in a little while. Let's see if there's any other cool ones here. I don't even know who this is, $2.99. No barcode. So sometimes I'll just try and take a picture of the front. You could do that on the Amazon seller app. But I think I'm gonna go through here and flip through, see if anything good is here. Most of it looks to be like old school jazz and stuff that's just not really worth it. Yeah. That Top Gun one was pretty cool, but all these others look pretty lame from what I can tell. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Victor, Victor, isn't that a movie also? Or maybe it's a Broadway show? <laughs> I'm not really well versed in any of this. Um, Pointer Sisters. Who is that? Dwayne Eddy. Ray Contif. Tiff? Tiff? I don't know. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna find much in here. That's a shame. You never know though. You never know. Here's an original motion picture soundtrack. I always have luck with those. Yeah, I'll try and look some of this up and you guys will see if I find anything. Alright, flipping through we found a Godfather soundtrack for two bucks. And this seems to be a newer release one right here. Um, because it just has original soundtrack recording there. And this has that PAS 1003. This newer one is selling for 22 bucks, which is pretty nice used. But the older one, I can't find... Oh, maybe this is it right here. 
Yep, PAS. There it is. Here's the older one. You selling for 45. Definitely gonna grab this. All right. I was flipping through. They close in 10 minutes, so we gotta go. But I found this laser disc right here, Raging Bull, five dollars, brand new sealed. Here it is on Amazon. Uh, kind of a high rank because it's a laser disc, but nobody's selling it brand new, and it's only 44 bucks used. There's got to be money in this, so we'll snag this. And it's definitely time to check out. The cart is full. We got lots of goodies. Uh, I got to go to the ATM. We got to get in line. The line is already starting to come all the way down the store. So we got to get in line and get out of here. All right. I just had to go to the ATM and get some cash. But I saw these Lego sets right here. $200, but it's half off. This one's also $200, but half off. And I don't see any. Oh, there's one little minifigure down there. So a hundred bucks, there's the body. Looks like it could be like an Indiana Jones guy or something. I'm not sure. For a hundred dollars though, I don't think it's worth it. What's in this one right here? Yeah, I don't see any mini, oh, there's like a random astronaut, but no mini figures. Not good, there's another bin right there with no mini figures, so. Did you guys spend a hundred bucks on a bin this size? I don't think it's that good. I, maybe if it was 50 bucks, I'd take the gamble. Even then, I don't know. Pretty wild.